Hello, this is Lisa Joy Haven. I'm doing a tutorial on Cam Studio on how to make your own custom stencils. I trust that you know how to do uh, most of the stuff in Rage for the most part, so we'll go into just the stencils right away. You go to your stencils and go and find anything you want. I like to go to my objects first. On any one of these, you can click on Add New Stencil. And you click on that, and um, you can actually find out which uh, photo you want to use. So I use View my thumbnails. I'm going to use something silly for the most part. Um, let's try this one. And then you're going to see it loaded. Give me a moment. And here it is. Click your X button and you can position your, um, your new stencil in the area which you want to use. Over here is the little button where you, you can use the move tool. Over here is your um, minimize and maximize button. How you move this, drag this to make it bigger as you click on it. And you click on it, left click, drag in and out to make it bigger and make it smaller as you need to over your canvas. Just for uh, demonstration's sake, I'm going to use black, and I'm going to use my field at home, and I was going to show you this um, from Second Life. I am an avatar in Second Life called Lisa Joya Haven. The name on here is Lisa Joya, but before I even started Second Life, I was already called Lisa Joya already, so I just took on real life name and put it in as my, my SL name. And I'm going to take this uh, move move tool and just move it over so you can see what this is. And then you can go back in and move it over and want to use pink and then do the same. So I want to do the other one demonstration with it. Um, I'll be doing with these stencils. I made my own eye stencils from my own hand. And, um, and there you go, the two different colors, the black and the pink. Alright, how you get rid of the stencil is that you right click on it, a menu shows up, and all the way down it says remove this stencil. Click it, and it's gone. But it's not deleted, it's in stencils again. It's back to where you saved it at. I saved mine in objects. And I scroll down, and there it is. I also have my logo for my store and second life and my own picture. An SL. This is great if you want to do a picture of yourself and you want to just do like, like a basic self portrait. And there you go. A self portrait. Right click and to remove the stencil again. And there you have it. We'll go through this one more time. Objects. I'm going to go to my objects because everything I end up creating is going to be in the objects anyways. So I'm going to right click view thumbnail so I can see what I'm doing. Then I am going to go into let's see. Do I have screenshots? Let's see. Alright. <coughs> My screenshot is okay. <coughs> this is a screenshot <coughs> of something in SL. You can um, use the different paint mediums if you want to to highlight and to show if you want. I'm just showing you how you can create brand new stencils with anything you have in your computer. And then you can right click, click remove the stencil, and there it is. There's the Phoenix Firestorm uh, logo right there. And if you don't like what you see, go to File. Sorry, go to Edit. I apologize. And then you go to Clear Layer. And it will clear this entire area out. That's how you create stencils in Art Rage.